What should a government do to foster entrepreneurship? Make it easy to start a business. Cut the red tape to the limit. Otherwise people might just give up. Ensure that you don't protect incumbents from new ideas. Taxi companies are horrified about the rise of the Uber app. Don't protect existing industries. Have low tax rates. Why work if you have to pay most of it back in tax? It also means that people are more incentivized to help fund new companies because of the returns being greater. Make tax easy for new companies, especially as they try and generate cash flow to keep operating. In the USA it used to be that healthcare was linked to employment. This meant that many startups could not get staff because they needed to keep health insurance coverage. But in places like the UK it is paid for in taxes thus you never risk losing coverage because you did not work. Create innovation hubs. Silicon Valley is one example. My local town has innovation park where new tech companies are located near each other and thus can help stimulate each other. Make it easy to deal with things like payroll taxes, and follow employment law. This can take up a lot of time and effort. In the USA bankruptcy laws let you go free in a short time. Some nations hold you in bondage for years. Simple and easy bankruptcy laws let you get back on your feet should your company fail. Run the economy well also helps. If you have major economic crises then this destroys companies. So keep spending under control, keep inflation low, a low minimum wage etc. Also basic things like rule of law low corruption etc. Subsidies can be very useful, but they come with great risks. This is because they may be done for political reasons unrelated to the business case. Also new companies fail a lot so you are investing the country's money in something which may not work. That said in Singapore the government decided that the local population would not start new companies, so the government started their own to fill the gap and grow the economy. I started a business a few years ago in a small town. It was disheartening to see the local government become more of a barrier than supporter. I think there are four main things government can do to foster entrepreneurship at a local level. They need to balance between lowering barriers without providing, too much, incentives to develop the entrepreneurship ecosystem naturally. 1. Provide the infrastructure for technology development. Ensure that businesses can develop in a central area known to be a technology hub. Even labeling certain areas where new companies develop can be beneficial to encourage additional companies to form and get the right talent. Reduce the cost of tools for startups will certainly help. Encouraging service providers to lower broadband service or lower cost of office space, permits and licensing. These can be done through legislation. Provide adequate cheap transportation options to these areas. Public transportation bike lanes, walkability are great for entrepreneurs. 2. Provide the right lifestyle is important to entrepreneurs, especially millennials. Pet-friendly areas and laws. Revitalizing existing parks to make it more friendly. A. Progressive political stance is important to many entrepreneurs. A. Positive political stance with current startups. Entrepreneurs will view local government as partners instead of barriers against new and untested ideas. Examples are, Uber, Lyft, Ride Sharing, Tesla, Direct Sales, Google, Automated Cars. 3. Encourage entrepreneurs to take the risk through education. Small business education and reach out to colleges. Partnership mentality for small businesses. Provide additional funding to entrepreneurship programs and advertise it to let entrepreneurs know about it. 4. Stay out of the way. The key is steady long-term growth. Providing short-term favoritism to entrepreneurs may impact current business negatively. It may even discourage other entrepreneurs in a competing technology to take the risk. Keeping that balance is critical for future growth of the ecosystem. This is not my area of expertise, as I am not an entrepreneur. However my fiancé has recently set up her own interior design company and invested in a showroom. I was quite surprised by how expensive business rates were and why she was forced to pay them. I don't fully understand why she has to pay 30% of the rent of a commercial unit on top and what she gets in return for that. So stop that for one. This adds huge cost on top for no perceived value and can make starting a business less viable.